Seal Force was uh, originally conceived as a kind of fun take on the US Navy SEALs, where instead of real humans, we'd have the SEALs. And this crossed with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you've essentially got Seal Force. The SEALs are like the protector of the seas, and uh, in this game, they're up against this uh, evil villain called Krillian. And Krillian is a Krill. Uh, we thought it would be fun to have Krills as villains in the game, as uh, they have a reason to be bitter. Uh, they're at the bottom of the food chain. So Krillian, uh, what he does is he has taken control of his army of Krills um, uh, by poisoning them. And it's up to Seal Force to prevent this, uh, uh, these mut mutated Krills from infecting the rest of the, the sea. Gameplay-wise, it's about matching colors. You control the seals, they're on the left side of the screen, and you use your finger to like draw a path from a seal, and then uh, that particular seal will t like, attack everything in its path. Uh, so it's a real-time uh, line drawing action game. Uh, there's, uh, the leader of the pack is called uh, Sarge. Uh, he's the leader of uh, the SEAL Force. Then there's uh, Fonzie, who's kind of the, the goofy uh, character. And then we have Milo, he's the little one, fast one, and he's really good with explosives. And then we have uh, Lobo, who is uh, the biggest character of them all. He's huge, he's actually a walrus. Uh, but uh, he's in charge of the in-game shop, very friendly. Krillin is after world domination, as all supervillains should be, should be their ambition. And um, he's uh, always escaping uh, the SEAL force, they're always really close to catching him, but he gets away. Uh, and he send, keeps sending out these Krills against uh, our SEAL force, and it's, uh, yeah, you have to take out these Krills and, and try to catch him, dead or alive. One of the great things in this game is that, that it's like never ending. It's, it's like just one continuous game. We just wanted to, like having this environment just to evolve with different uh, things popping up in front of it and, and different kinds of krills coming in from the side. Uh, we're a small developing house, so it's very much a collaborative effort where we very much experiment uh, over the course of developing. Uh, we try things out. If it's cool, we keep it. If it doesn't work, we throw it out. Uh, some of the challenges we had were, had to do with balancing. Uh, we want players to be able to, when they have a few minutes free, pick up the game uh, and play it and still get a rush uh, chasing down Krillian um, and still feel like they advance in the game uh, over this short uh, amount of time. We're kind of making it into a retro kind of feel that it has this like Ninja Turtles inspiration and uh, yeah, everybody has this, uh, a lot of people have this uh, adoration for these kind of characters, so, yeah. People should look forward to this action pack and fun game which is free. Uh, you will be able to do combos, you will have all kinds of power-ups, all the SEALs have their favorite weapons, you've got everything from laser cannons to missile launchers at your disposal. You can go into the in-game shop and upgrade your weapons and you can make your SEALs more faster, more powerful and uh, yeah, just generally have a, have a lot of fun with it.